Three Ways God Loves You Have you ever found yourself thinking about how much God loves you? I would be honored if you would give me two minutes of your time so that I can briefly describe the top three qualities of God's love for you as stated in the Bible. Although this list is not exhaustive, it will help you to understand the fullness of God's love for you. God's love for you is unwavering. Although there may be moments in your life when you don't feel God's presence or His love, especially when you are suffering and facing tough and stressful situations, even when you are hurt and in pain God still loves you. God's love for you is similar to the love you have for your children, but it's bigger, deeper, and much more powerful. God's love for you never changes. In Ephesians 2 verse 4 it states, God, being rich in mercy, because of the great love with which He loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. God's love is always there from Christ to eternity. God's love for you is pure. When a human being loves you very often it's self-seeking. You probably know people that every time you see them or hear from them, they want something from you. But in complete contrast God's love for you has no ulterior motives. He wants nothing from you. God's love for you is so pure, it has no strings attached, which is why God's love is the only love you can trust completely. God is the beginning and the end, and so is His love for you. His love for you is eternal and designed to endure perpetually. The Bible said God knew you when you were in your mother's womb and He loved you then. He loved you before the world knew you. He loved you before you took your first breath, and He's going to love you after you take your last breath. There is nothing you did to earn God's love, and as a believer, there is nothing you can do to end it.